thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for clicking the link or following the page or however you got to be seeing this if you're on youtube you're seeing this on youtube please there's a big shiny red button right about there with a bell on it please do subscribe uh, so today we're going to be talking about how to make an improvised improvised cpap machine cpap um, is an acronym for continuous positive airway pressure so continuous positive airway pressure machine what is it so it's a kind of positive airway pressure ventilator that we use for individuals that are breathing spontaneously but at risk of having their airway obstructed or you know collapse so um why do we use it and when do we use it we use it mainly and the one we're going to be showing you how to do here is uh, mainly mainly for new units uh, we use mainly for those that are premature premature new units and the thing about it is that premature new units especially those that are moderate to early preterms and below um, their lungs are not fully developed so they don't have enough surfactants produced the lack of the surfactant will cause increased surface tension which would cause the alveoli to collapse or part of the lung to collapse uh, which is what we call atelectasis so to prevent this we want to make sure that air is continuously going into their lungs it will help keep the alveoli open and if the alveoli is open there's increased residual volume which will lead to increased functional lung capacity which will lead to easier gaseous exchange and to also decrease the work of breathing for the for the little child on this point so so the indications for using a CPAP machine uh, include uh, transient stachypnea of the newborn, which is TTN, uh, respiratory distress syndrome, apnea of prematurity. If you have any questions as to what these are, you can actually look them up uh, yourself. But those are mainly preterm indications. For the term units, you could also use CPAP machine for the term units if they have if they are at risk of their airway collapsing. So if a term unit has meconium aspiration syndrome or congenital pneumonia, you'd also consider using a CPAP machine because it will also help them by acting as a stent for the airway so that it doesn't close up or on itself. All right, so we also have some contraindications for CPAP use. So you don't use CPAP if the person and in this case the new unit is not breathing spontaneously also if you notice there is a hypotension severe bradycardia when there is cardiorespiratory failure you do not use a CPAP machine in general so when you see a pop you're targeting for the SPOC to be about um, 95 percent and above once the new unit is past 10 minutes of life how do we make it that is what you're going to see right about now Your surgical blades, the bag of normal saline, and uh, nasal prongs. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. CM, 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 CM. So the main thing we need here is the, is the wire. We want to puncture the top with this as well first, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and puncture this. So that's open. Then this wire, we need this wire, as much of it as we can get. That's why we have our blade for. Notice we are not cutting straight like this. Huh? We are cutting at an angle because some nasal prongs are big. So for it to fit, if you put it straight straight, it won't enter inside. So you cut it at an angle. Kind of head you're looking at slanted. Slanted over this way, and we angle. So we're going to cut. This is where it straps on. You see. So if we cut before this wire, now we would have spoiled this point. You guys get because we won't be able to hold it to the head of the baby. We'd have to use plaster. Now. So whenever we're cutting, always take note that we cut after cut after yeah. something like that. Uh, where's my blade? So just be somewhere around here and we cut slanted as well.
Okay, so in between 200 and 300, that's where you want the water to.